Today we're going to work on eliminating this horrendous beeper on the new E50 excavator. At least give it the option to turn it off. We're going to just put a little rotary switch in and that way we can come over here, pop the door, turn the button or turn the switch, turn the switch off and uh, at least we won't have the beeper if we don't need it now, you know i'm i'm working around the pond you see i've been working on the pond over there you can see it in the in the background over there and every time i gotta move this thing's beeping there's nobody around me and it's like i'm having to constantly push the silence button so i'm like i've got to do something to get rid of that beeper while i don't need it but i didn't want to just eliminate it i wanted the ability to quickly turn it back on in case we're working on a project away from the farm so Today we're going to get into that. Let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to install this rotary switch here. And I just looked for a location and I think this location right here, I got a uh, spot right here on the back side of this bracket here. Thought about even just sticking it up in there, but I don't have quite enough room. Plus the latch uh, may get in the way. You see the latch here, it comes through and comes around. So we know it's going to come back a little bit, but there's really nothing in this location back here. So I think it's a perfect location for it. The beeper itself is way down in there. If you can see it down there. Let's see if I can put a flashlight on it. Might be a little too dark down in there for the GoPro to see it. All right, so it's down in there. And essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna break one of those wires, run it through this switch, and we're gonna mount the switch, so. Now I think we can drill this hole out without it walking all over the place on us. And it's just barely going to be big enough to give us what I'm looking for. Alright, let's see if our switch will fit. Man, like a dream. Look at that. I like it. Okay. Good. Okay. All right, so we got a wrench on it. Can you see that? Barely. Yeah, I think you can see it. Now, somehow I gotta, still gotta get both hands down in there somehow. Oh, it's tight. Uh, there's no room to work down in there that's for sure all right we did get it broke loose that's a good thing so we're gonna take one of these wires off they really don't care which one it is positive or negative it doesn't matter to me so just gonna if it doesn't have both of them it won't work so we're gonna eliminate one of them and run it, we're not gonna eliminate it. We're gonna run it through a switch so we can turn it off. So there's the one. And we'll take this wire and just put it down there on that. And then put this back on. All right, you see that I just put it on that stud sticking out, putting the nut back on. All right, now let's see if we can get that tightened up. Somehow. That's a great thing about these, this equipment. It's compact. And that's the terrible thing about this equipment. It's compact. <laughs> like, you gotta love it, you gotta hate it. Oh, 
let's see if we can get in there and hold that while we snug that nut down. I think we got it. All right. Okay, so we got that wire on. All right. Now we're going to cut this off because I don't like how that's all. Here, I'll show you how these work. Put these in here. And it comes down. They work great. So we've done a lot of wire stripping. That, that wire don't look good right there either. Let's do that again. I'm telling how long those switches has <coughs> been in my box. Excuse me. I keep I keep stuff all the time. I'll see stuff and I'll buy it. And so I'll need that one day. This is probably one of those situations. Twist it a little bit. Put that down in there. That was just a black wire that I had and I wanted to use black wire. Just cause personal preference. No, no real absolute reason to use black wire. It's just what I wanted to use. So we're gonna put this underneath it just to kind of hold it in place. I think we got enough room to put this on there. May not be able to do that. Now I think I'm gonna have to do it the other way. I'm just gonna take this, put it up in here, and hopefully I don't have to. I oh mean, oh. It is going to tighten. I tried to drill it back far enough that I could tighten that up without having to remove anything. I just barely made it to. I mean, just barely. And be careful. Hopefully, I don't do what I'm about to tell you, but just be careful how tight you tighten. If you got one of these little rotary switches like this, and you can buy them at Home Depot. Um, nothing special. Little Home Depot rotary switch. Click, click, on, off. I love it. All right, so now we gotta go underneath. We're gonna go down there. And go connect this up. Okay, going under. Ooh, ah. There's a piece of metal there. Just knocked the crap out of my head. Fortunately, it wasn't the camera. Holy oh, crap, that hurt. All right, we're going to cut that off. And we're going to strip that back a little bit. I got the camera where you can see it pretty good. Oh my god, put this in there. Crimp that down. And I don't want this hanging down real low, but you gotta cut it long enough that you can crimp it, so I think I'm gonna go about right here. Hopefully that won't be too short. <laughs> it disappeared on me, didn't it? Alrighty, let's get this off here. that up in there real good and crimp it and then we're just going to make sure I might even put a tie strap on that just to hold that up in there I don't want that wire coming down here to get pulled out so oh, dang hit my head again oh, let's see if I can help keep from hitting my head this time so we're going to just run that through there like that Tie strap on it, dang it, I got something in my eyes again. And just tuck that up there where it'll stay up there out of the way. And I'm not even gonna worry about cutting that off. So, get a flashlight, show you what it looks like down in there. So that's what we got. See my wire, my wire's come up, 
right here. Just come up right to this rotary. And at this point, I should be able to, I don't know if it's off or on, but if it's not on, I know the switch is off when I go to pull the levers. And if it is beeping when I go to pull the levers, I know the switch is on. So we'll go find out. Switch in that location. Beaver's working. Rotate it to the next position. Switch is not working. That's it. I think that makes it look nice and tidy, nice and neat. We'll start a little bit of tape on there. Because if you don't, it wants to fall off. Just keeps it on the wire as you run it down. I like wire loom. Makes things look good. And it keeps things from shorting out too. So I'll cut this off so it goes all the way to the switch, I hope. And that will be fantastic. Look at there. I like it. That looks even better so if you got any questions feel free to comment below but that's a quick way to uh, make it where you can turn the beeper off when you don't need it the backup alarm and turn it on when you do need it like when you're out on a job somewhere and uh, you want to make sure that you have uh, meeting all the OSHA requirements when you're out but I'm you know I'm out here working on a farm a lot of times just doing stuff and and uh nobody's around but me and i just did, got tired of hearing it so that's a quick way of doing it uh but definitely not recommend you bypassing the backup alarm if you are out on a job site where pedestrians can be around it's a it's a very important safety instrument to have so there's my disclaimer but that's a quick easy way to make it where if you are especially if you're trying to do youtube videos and nobody's around you're out on your own farm and uh, those backup alarms are horrendous in a video so that's the way you do it any questions just hit me up on the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe like our videos hit that notification bell and we we'll look forward to the next one thanks bye